Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something, well a few things quite differently. One is a very no makeup skincare forward look. It's a five minute skincare and summer makeup look. Because often I feel like we see these five minute makeup looks but they haven't taken into account the 10 minutes they spend getting their skin looking perfect and getting that great base to do the makeup on. So this one is five minutes for your entire skincare including your serum and SPF using only six products. So it's not going to be a a really colorful look or a really nicely face baked contoured look that you'd be more glam or for a going out look is going to be something that's really good for every day for running to the grocery store for a pool days for hanging out at your resort on vacation so something very very quick and easy and very easy to pack the other thing and i apologize profusely for i'm so sorry my mic decided to quit on me this morning i already recorded this this morning and i listened back i went to edit it and there was no sound even though my mic was green i tried again this afternoon plugged it in and it would just wouldn't even record so the mic is dead I need to order a new one so I hope the sound is good enough for you so bear with me so the six products I'm using four of them are from Beauty Pie only one I've tried before and that's their 360 serum I really like it's perfect for your base for your summer makeup for no makeup days I have no foundation on for this look so if you wanted to add maybe a CC cream or something to this you could I just decided I wanted to let my skin breathe I try to wear as little makeup as I can on non kind of like work days just I really really like using my skincare and letting it breathe so there's no foundation for this look it's basically your serum your SPF and moisturizer in one your eye brightener your mascara and a lip gloss that we're going to double up and use that for a couple of things so the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is the beauty pie 360 serum this one is their radiance concentrate it's their youth balm it says with exclusive biologic elastic complex to help visibly firm tighten and soften fine lines and wrinkles boost radiance and enhance luminosity so that's why i like this one especially for the summer when it's dry when i'm doing a no makeup look to really try and get that really healthy hydrated glowy skin i'm sorry i'm laughing because i keep calling it beauty bomb instead of beauty pie youth bomb i'll get it out so the other thing the beauty pie youth bomb 360 radiance complete serum that's such a mouthful has in it is soothers so maybe if your skin is irritated or it's had a little bit too much sun this is a really lovely serum so we're going to start with this then i'm going to use my moisturizer spf in one it has a slight glow to it i wouldn't necessarily say a tint this is a finished look i'm going to show you from the beginning step by step um this is a finished look so it just gives a slight bit of coverage but not as much as a cc cream so you can still see the redness on my nose i kind of don't mind that for a natural look it's not going to shoot well on camera if you're taking pictures if you're going out but it's just a good everyday base with lots of skincare ingredients this is my new find from beauty pie it is their super luminous under eye genius corrector and i got the light medium now this isn't an eye cream, it's not a concealer, it is a brightener. However, I found with this, I put my moisturizer on, just having more mature skin, living in the desert, I want a really hydrated base. I don't even know if I need my eye cream going forward because it might be a little bit too high shine. This is really, really lovely. It has that slight pinkiness to it, so I found it really, really helped combat my dark circles and i didn't do a concealer over this i thought it was bright enough on its own i took it over my eyelids as i'll show you in the video to get rid of some of the discoloration there and it did a really nice job of that this does crease slightly though so spend a lot of time patting it in this is a no powder no setting spray look if you find it creases it does kind of blot in very easily again if you just wanted to kind of go in and smooth things out or you could set it with your powder and or setting spray. So that was just me because I was doing really, really quick makeup today. So no concealer, I went in with this. So one of the things I really like about Beauty Pie, not just their skincare, but their makeup, is they tend to be formulated with a lot of skincare ingredients as well, which is why they're really good for those quick makeup days. So for example, this Under Eye Genius, it is formulated with sunflower and castor oils to moisturize, smooth the look of fine lines, help support the delicate skin barrier and reduce the appearance of dark circles. And then those high luminosity intensity pigments help to scatter the light. And you're supposed to put it over the eye cream and under concealer. But like I said, I don't think I'm gonna bother with the eye cream going forward. And for a quick look, you don't need the concealer. If I was doing a full on fake bake, Yes, absolutely, I would use this for the brightening and then go in with the concealer. But brilliant for every day. It was so creamy. It applies really, really easily. Um, well, what else can I say about it? Yeah, I think this is a new find that I'm going to add to my beauty routine, especially when you do the membership. It's such a good price point. It also comes in medium dark if this is too light for you. Okay, on 
to the next thing I used, which was the Beauty Pie, the perfect waterproof mascara. Really pretty packaging. It's like a rose gold. Comes in super glossy brown or super glossy black. Now I did the black just because I feel like if I'm not doing any other makeup, I really want that look. Beauty Pie does say this is for length, volume, and curl. I don't feel like it's good for volume. I do think it's excellent for length. I think it's excellent with the color. And one thing I really appreciated with this one is it wasn't drying. A lot of waterproof mascaras can be quite drying, get a bit crusty or flaky. This wasn't, you'll see when I show you, it just glides on the lashes. I did two coats. And then because of the shape of the brush is slightly curved, you can really try and get that curl with it. And especially if you go into the lash, and then kind of like press down and I'll hold it for like 20 seconds. I do use an eyelash curler in the video as well. The five minutes gave me time to do that. One thing I didn't do, and you might want to add on to, is doing your eyebrows. Mine are microbladed, so if I'm not putting foundation over them, I don't feel like I need to do that extra. So that did save me some time. And when I was saying the Beauty Pie Waterproof Mascara was more hydrating and just glid, glided, glided on easier than a lot of waterproof mascaras. It isn't flaking off at all. It's because of the ingredients in here. It is a pro vitamin B5, acacia seed peptides, arginine and shea butter. So it's that shea butter that makes it, gives it those kind of like really nice shine to it. So they don't look dry and crusty. Then the very last thing I used was this. It's the Beauty Pie Wonder Glass Collagen Lip Oil. Now when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it's bright neon. It's not going to be good for a natural look but it is, it actually comes out very, very sheer and glossy. So it's a really, really lovely formula. The other thing I was nervous about when it says lip oil, I was like, is it just gonna be greasy? Is it just going to last two seconds? Um, is it going to be, cause I thought it would like it's going to be, now it's sheer, is that being sheer? Is it going to have that separation you sometimes get with sheer glosses? It's not sticky, it lasts really well. And it does, it just feels really, really lovely. There's no menthol in there, so there's no kind of burn. I feel like you're getting the plumpness, the plumpness literally because it has the collagen in there. Yes, I have lip filler as well. It's not all from this, but you'll see that when I do the makeup with you. And the ingredients in this, sorry, I don't have them memorized. It is infused with collagen AC, microvectors, antioxidant cherry and hibiscus oils, and a hint of shimmer. But I don't feel like it's crazy shimmery. Glossy, yes, but it's not that disco ball look. The same reason I used a different glow SPF today. I didn't want the glow screen kind of too shimmery look. I wanted it just to look like I've literally just walked out of having a really good facial. Is she, isn't she wearing makeup kind of look? So again, another beauty product that also kind of doubles up as skincare. Now, I don't normally talk about lip glosses and lip colors because I have my own cosmetic company that specializes in custom lipsticks, but I do like trying other brands. The reason being is I like to see how they are, see if I can try and reformulate and improve. Mine are always looking to better them, but what I also did with this is double it up as a cheek tin or cheek stain, whatever you want to call it, because it has those hydrating ingredients in there. I wanted that luminosity, and if you're traveling less products quicker on time, I like it because I literally just put it on here, did this and dabbed it along my cheeks. The warmth of your hands will help that color melt into your cheeks. It keeps it hydrated. It keeps that glow going. I feel like putting a powder on a look this luminous, especially when you're not wearing foundation, might look a bit odd rather than just a very, very natural sheer wash of color that ties into the lip color. And if you don't like the shade, if it's not for you, it does come in five different colors. So you can find one you like but it just feels really, really lovely and hydrating. The whole look, the skincare beauty, it just feels like my skin is very, very hydrated now. And I love that, especially in the summer. If you're gonna have a long day out in the sun, by the pool, in the ocean, I think it's really, really good. And because you're not wearing any foundation or concealer, it's very easy then to keep reapplying your sunscreen SPF throughout the day. Okay, let me show you the five minute makeup. And I am starting with Beauty Pie Youth Serum. It's a 360 radiance concentrate. I'm going to use quite a lot because I'm going to try and go for a foundation free look quickly. Get that all in. I'm then going to go in with a little bit of eye cream just for some hydration. I normally do more than one take. I'm not someone who can get their words out right all the time. So we're gonna see how this goes. If I start blabbering away, cause I'm trying to do this so quickly, you know why I'm going to do my SPF moisturizer and glow kind of like in one next. It's slightly kind of tinted. Oh, I got way too much out there. I got a little bit too happy with that. You know what? Sunscreen on the arms. 
see sunscreen and makeup in five minutes. We're gonna do this. I love the glow I get from this one. It's not Beauty Pie, it's a new product sample I just got that I'm going to link below. But I was hoping that this would be good for non-foundation days. Get that all in there. Just wipe my hands off. So I thought rather than cheating and it being like, do my skincare first and then my makeup, because obviously that would take longer. I am trying to do my skincare and makeup and make it a whole five minute face. Next, I'm going to go in with, get it the right way up, the Beauty Pie, a light medium, super, luna, super luminous under eye genius corrector in light medium. Now it's not a concealer replacement. This is a brightener and it's actually a really nice soft texture. I've never used it before. It's quite a pink shade and it said tap it under. Oh, that's really nice with your ring finger and then go back in and add concealer afterwards. So their recommendation was your eye cream, the under eye brightener and then the concealer. But I actually don't think that doesn't even need concealer. That's really nice and brightening. It is also moisturizing as well. So this, this might be a really good go-to product. It's blending in really nicely. I mean, I don't know how well it will crease throughout the day. I'm coming up onto my eyelids. There's a little bit of blue and discoloration there. So I want to brighten that as well. And under my eyebrows to give them a bit of a lift. But you do, do you do you, place it where you need it. That took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. But if we're saving concealer time, we're okay. I'm gonna do the essentials first and then any time I've got left over at the end, I'm gonna go back and finish up with what I have time for. I have to curl my lashes. They're so fair and short. At least if I can give them a bit of a cheat, I will. Obviously, I feel like mascara, unless you've dyed lashes or you have eyelash extensions, are a non-negotiable. And again, I'm going in with another Beauty Pie product. It's brand new, I haven't used it. Beautiful packaging, love the color, and it's their waterproof mascara. So if you're getting in and out of the pool, if you are maybe just in a humid climate, going to a wedding, I'm worried about the waterworks going. Oh, it's really lovely and clump free. I wouldn't say it's volumizing, but it does feel moisturizing. It's not dry whatsoever. It's gliding onto my lashes and creating really nice separation and lift, one eye versus the other. And obviously this is actually taking me a bit longer than it would be if I was not talking and trying to do it in an iPhone camera, not in a proper mirror. But this is lovely. It's quite natural. It doesn't like, it's not one of those full voluminous lengthening mascaras but I mean this does the job and I often find waterproof mascara is quite drying this doesn't feel like that let's just do a little hold so we can get some of a curl in there yeah I like this this is pretty effective I don't think I'm even going to do brows today just because I have microblading so I, and I'm not putting foundation over the top so you kind of see them so let's add on like another 30 seconds for that I am running close on time though so I'm going to use a beauty pie oil for my lips mm, super hydrating you know what that doesn't taste minty so what we're going to do and this is hydrating I'm just going to do a very natural color wash on my cheeks just to make everything cohesive and join everything together. I'm not going to powder up. I'm going to leave that really naturally because the timer is going and that's the five minute skincare. Next. So I feel like if I hadn't been talking and showing the products as I had gone along, I would have managed to do this all in five minutes. I still would like a little bit more time to do it. This is great for kind of like in a rush and go. I wouldn't have spent so long putting on that concealer, brightening cream, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I still need to go back in and clean up things like where the mascara got on my upper lid just because I was doing it in the iPhone. So I would say this is a five minute routine. If you do it in a mirror, don't ramble on like I did and apply that brightener quicker. So I think this would work for every day for getting your skincare in with a bit of color. I wouldn't do my makeup this naturally normally. I like more of a face beat. I would like more bronzer. I would like a lip liner. I really like more of a contoured look, but it is just a fresh, healthy look. If you're in a rush, 
on the go. So let me talk about some of the products I used. I've used this before, the Beauty Bomb 360 Concentrate. It's a really good size bottle. It says with exclusive BioLodge Elastic Complex to help visibly firm, tighten and soften fine lines and wrinkles, boost radiance and enhance luminosity. So a really nice product if you're wanting to go makeup free in the summer. And I use quite a lot of it, but you don't need to use as much as I do. I'm quite, quite heavy handed with my skincare because I just feel like more is more. The Beauty Pie, I thought this was really nice. If you're doing a non-consumer day, I think it's great. If you want to concealer or if you have darker eyes, you might want to do concealer over the top. I didn't feel like I needed it. What I like about this versus my normal concealer is I feel like if you really apply it properly and buff those creases out to begin with, can you see it's so reflective of the light you just really want to make sure you get those creases out and if you did want to powder that down afterwards to stop that creasing if you have the time obviously you could i was trying to just do everything as quickly but i really like that the lashes i'm super impressed with what i didn't do when i went doing this in the five minutes was clean up as i went and obviously it's waterproof normally mascaras i say wait till they dry and then just like use a q-tip and pick it off and they'll just flake off without ruining your makeup with waterproof mascara it is different you want to get it while it's wet because that was harder to get off which is good because it means it is waterproof but i like the it gives a really good lift to them it gives really good separation it gives length if you're looking for volume it might not be the right one for you but i think this is a really good summer mascara when i first saw this color i wasn't sure i thought it might be a bit bright and a bit orangey for me for a natural look but putting it on, it's pretty sheer. And the issue I normally get with sheer products is they start to separate. You can almost see the color versus the oil. This isn't doing that. It really, really sits nicely on the lips. And I like that it has collagen in, helps smooth the fine line. And I think the color is really, really pretty. And the reason I used it on my cheeks was just to be really quick. And also if you're traveling, you're literally, the less you pack, the better. I like products that double up. And also because of the collagen and the hydrating ingredients in it, I thought it'd be good for my skin so it doesn't start to sit in these lines, which some powders can. It gave a very, very natural color wash. So obviously you could totally use more of it. Let's put more on now. See if we can like build up some color. I'm actually going to keep putting it on my, on here. Just, I think it might be, oh no. Because it's quite sheer, I feel like you will need more than I did. The reason I like using product like this, um, if it's a lip gloss, I don't wanna be getting it all over my makeup brushes and gunking them up. And also just the heat of your skin just helps product melt in to your face more. And I instantly have some more color on this side than that. So I'm just gonna build up the color on the other side, make it nice and even. Is it my best makeup look? No, but for five minutes skincare, I normally take five minutes just doing my skincare. So to do makeup and skincare in five minutes, I think is quite good. I normally do contour, but we're not gonna to contour today. We're gonna to keep this a really light, fresh, summer, illuminated, radiant look. So if you've tried any of these Beauty Pie skincare or beauty products or cosmetics, drop it in the comment below. Let me know if you've tried any other ones, what you thought. If you have any tips for really quick and easy skincare and makeup looks for the summer, I love hearing from you. I'm trying to make it more of a community on here. I do respond to all of the comments as long as they're not spam or someone hitting on me because I'm happily married. Besides that, I love getting in touch with you, hearing, hearing your tips as well, because that's why we're here. All of us know different things, learn different things as we go. Let me know if you found this video helpful. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe. And I promise for the next video, I will have a new mic.